Hello, hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today we're starting a very exciting video. We're kicking off Beauty Pie skincare reviews and I have 19 products from the Beauty Pie skincare line that I have tried and tested and have thoughts on. So if that sounds good to you, I hope you'll stick around, hang out, keep watching and let's jump right in. I know I said we'll jump right in, but I wanna get some housekeeping things out of the way and disclaimers. So I will include timestamps down below. We're in for several very long videos. I have a lot of thoughts. I dove pretty deep into ingredients and I want to talk about them for those of you who are interested. If you're just interested in a yes or no verdict, I'm happy to refilm that. However, timestamps will be here if you are curious. Let's go ahead and jump in to some housekeeping, you guys. There is a heat wave. I'm sure everyone's aware. My thoughts go out to everybody, especially in the UK. However, at the time of sitting down to film this, it is currently 82 degrees in my office and 93, almost 94 outside. Our AC blew last night. So I didn't have time to sit down and film it this morning. And unfortunately, we're now at the hottest time of the day. And this is just when I have to film. So I'm hoping to get through as much as I can before I tap out because it's become too hot. Also, if my makeup is looking janky, it's 82 degrees in my office and there's not a lot of air moving because the fan is too loud. So I hope you'll bear with me through this. We'll do this. I'm very excited to do this. I don't want to hold off any longer. I'm also hoping that I can get this edited and up for Wednesday's upload. Now, I know I promised a couple of you that I would do this in one long video. However, I just did a, I just did a dry run of the first category, which is serums, and it took almost a half hour. I don't wanna put out an hour and a half video. It's not going to upload in time either, so I'm going to chunk this out into three videos. My goal is to try to get them all up tomorrow, or we'll get them up Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or a combination of two today, one Friday. We'll see, but I hope that's okay with you. I just wanna make sure that I'm giving all of the information that I set forth to do so in this video. That brings me into what is my goal of this video? My goal of this video is to talk about all of the products that I've tried from Beauty Pie, which is quite a few in the skincare category. This is my top category from Beauty Pie with body care being like a very, very close second, if not like one and a half. This is where Beauty Pie is worth it to me for the cost savings. Yes, the makeup has significant cost savings in some of the categories, but for me, it's Beauty Pie wouldn't be a one-stop shop for me for makeup. It could be, but I'm someone who likes to experiment more than that. However, with skincare, when I find a product that I like, that I see results with, I stick with it. Same with body care. So those hold a little bit more weight to me when it comes to determining if you would like to be a member or not. I'm not gonna go through membership. I mentioned that in my makeup video as well and my body care video. There are plenty of videos out there that walk you through what the membership means. And also I'm going to be giving pricing in this video. However, it is not the pricing that I paid for these things back in November. It has since increased. And if you're watching this at a later date, they're probably gonna increase again. It's just the nature of the beast, supply chain, all this, we've heard it a million times from different brands. So that is kind of out of the way. I wanna get into disclaimers. First disclaimer. I am not affiliated with Beauty Pie. I am not sponsored by Beauty Pie. They have no idea that I exist. I dove into a membership last November because I was very curious and I have since tried a lot of different things. A lot of the skincare stuff I have had with me since the November, December timeframe, I will let you know when that is not the case. I also want to say that I'm so excited to film this. And we're gonna get into some like overarching disclaimers. Number one, I'm gonna get into ingredients. I am not a chemist. I am definitely not a cosmetics chemist. However, I enjoy researching this type of thing. And to me, what I look for is scientific evidence, medical journals, scientific journals. I'm doing kind of like a quick search. It took me a few hours to pull some of this together. I have been learning about ingredients for a couple of years now, and some of that is kind of instilled in my brain. However, Beauty Pie, I really want to highlight, is bringing a lot of ingredients that might be more common in Asian and European skincare over into the United States through this membership, and I think that that's definitely worth noting. The second is I am not a dermatologist or a doctor. I'm not here to tell you how to fix your skin. I'm not here to recommend a product to fix your skin. 
I am hoping that I can give you all of the data points that I think are important when making a decision on a skincare item so that you can make the best decision for you. Capiche? Capiche. I think that that is everything. Let's just double check. Oh, I'm going to be looking off screen at my notes. I compiled a spreadsheet. If anyone is interested in me sharing that spreadsheet, let me know. I needed to organize my thoughts and this is the way that it came to be. I also want to add the disclaimer of what is my skin type and what I prefer in ingredients. So I have very acne prone skin from hormonal imbalance and PCOS. So I have breakouts all the time and I have dealt with very terrible cystic acne and I've gone through a long journey of figuring out what works for me, what doesn't work for me and a balance between lifestyle changes and skincare to kind of meld in the middle to give me results. I don't think that there's any one product that's going to change your life and make your skin everything you ever wanted it to be. I think it's a combination of different things. That said, I have very like dry, dehydrated skin, so I'm always looking for moisture that's not going to like overdo it in a pore clogging way or be comedogenic. I'm looking for things that pack a punch with hydration but don't feel super heavy and don't clog my pores. I also have very sensitive skin. I have a little bit of rosacea on my cheeks. It's probably peeking through as I heat up in this sweat box right now. My skin's just very high maintenance. It's very sensitive, easily sensitized, and I look for a lot of calming and moisturizing things. And I don't do a lot of acids. There are a couple of things from a chemical exfoliation standpoint that work for me. Uh, papaya enzymes is one of them that we'll get into in some products down the line. But that's kind of a taste of where I'm coming from. So take that with a grain of salt when you're hearing my thoughts around some of these products. I will try to be subjective and let you know who I think it's for. But yeah, I wanna throw that in there. So keep that in mind as we go through all of these products. So if you're ready for a couple of long ones, I hope that you'll hang out with me. Let's dive into the first product. I did rank these based on how much I would disapprove to how much I would approve and recommend to you. The first video that's going up and what we're discussing right now is serums and a toner. So coming in at number six is a toner actually, and it is the Beauty Pie Uber Youth Super Elixir Microbiome Mist on Serum with Hydrangea paniculata extract, Defensil 1% and probiotic Reviv Revivil. Interesting. I have a lot of thoughts, but first let's walk through everything that I'm gonna talk about in these products. One is the price. Second is if it has fragrance or not. Third are the claims that are on the website. And fourth are any ingredient callouts that the website specifically states. Fourth is going, or fifth is going to be the ingredients that I think are worthy of discussing because as I just mentioned, like you'll see they have like Defensil, which is their proprietary blend. As a normal consumer, that doesn't mean a lot to me. And I don't want to be sold on the idea. I want to see ingredients and data and proof, if that makes sense. If you're going to make large claims, I want you to meet those claims. So getting into this toner, the U Uber Youth Toner, this is $23, you get 3.2 fluid ounces. They don't have any claims on the website and they also don't have any ingredient callouts. However, this is supposed to be anti-aging because it's from the Uber Youth line and helpful for your microbiome of your skin. Now, when I look into the ingredients since they don't have any callouts, there are very interesting ingredients that I think are worth educating consumers on and I wish that Beauty Pie would do so. The first is Pond and listen, I'm gonna mispronounce some of these. The first one is Pon Potentilla Mayabe Callus, which is a rare ingredient that if you Google this and try to find studies or other products on it, this is pretty much the only thing that comes up is this Uber Youth Toner. So I don't know why they're not calling that out, but all I can find about this is that it's rare and that it's moisturizing. And it's also in their Super Healthy Skin Moisturizer Lotion, which we'll get into a little bit later. The second one I'd call out is the Orobanche Rapum Extract, and this is a plant that's native to Europe and it helps the skin barrier by aiding in the production of long chain ceramides, and it is somewhat antibacterial from what I've been reading. Now that one is easier to find more data points on. 
And again, an exciting ingredient that you don't hear about very often. And then the third and last one is the Albatrellus ovinus extract, which is sheep polypore mushroom, and this is anti-inflammatory and offers pain relief. So a lot of these are coming from like Ayurvedic medicine, Chinese herbal medicine, Korean skincare, Japanese skincare, and they have such a rich history that I think would be so cool for Beauty Pie since they are, I mean, you're not seeing these in other US-based brands, so to educate the consumers I think would be so great. But that being said, all of those nice ingredients are at the very bottom of the list below the preservative line, which means it's less than 1%. Now granted, there's not a lot of data out there to tell me at what percentage those are super effective, but to me, for something that is fragranced and has the ingredients so low, it already has a mark against it. And then as far as packaging goes, it is a nice just regular old spray bottle, nothing bad to say about it, but the sprayer is so tiny and if I spray it, that looks like a nice mist, but it's only going to take like one or two more times for it to be like, it's, of course it's working on camera, a straight shot that just like overwhelms the face. Because of that and the fragrance, I can't get behind this. I cannot recommend this. $28 when instead I can offer a $38 toner that comes in a recyclable tin where the third and fourth ingredient is algae. There's also ceramide in this, but there's also ceramide in this. You know what I mean? Like this has moisturizing and calming ingredients just as much as this does, if not more so. And yes, it's $15 more, but you also get 4.1 fluid ounces as opposed to 3.2. So you get almost an extra ounce there. Plus Fitgo goes on sale all the time. So I can't recommend this one. I also can't find enough data points on those ingredients to say like those are going to do fantastic things for your skin. So it's just, it's not for me. It's a pass. So that is coming in on the bottom of my list for serums. Coming in at number five is the Japan Fusion Genius Lift Elixir. This has won Allure Beauty Awards and for me, it was a miss. It comes in at $14.5. At the time that I got this back in November, it was priced just under 10, I think like $9.88. So there's a little bit of a price jump there. They don't have any claims on the website. I think I already said it's fragranced, but then the ingredient callouts that they have are again, what I'm talking about when I say that there are these proprietary blends, they call out Della Myth extract at 2%, which is from the peels of a Delaware grape. And it is to soothe skin and counteract free radical damage with antioxidants. Jabara extract at 2%, which is, which is an antioxidant harvested from Japan citrus fruit and is rich in vitamin C and polyphenols helps with appearance of pigmented spots. Then they also have NM Fission Moisture Lock Complex at 1%, which is the Palm Bay yeast derivative that delivers moisture and firmness, re-energizes the complexion, and reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles through deep hydration and skin surface nourishment. And then the last call out they have is Clado Siphon Nove Calendone Polysaccharide. See, I'm telling you, they, they really need to help break this down for us. A Fucodian extract from a brown microalgae Polynesian seaweed with water retention properties as powerful as hyaluronic acid that helps plump and smooth. That's a lot. So basically what we're looking at is a lot of antioxidants, a yeast derivative for moisture and firmness, and then some algae for additional moisture. So I wanted to look into what is a Fucodian extract? And it is basically a polysaccharide that's found in various species of brown algae. So I don't know that it's anything like, ooh, added on top of the brown algae. I could be totally wrong, but I just wanted to look into that. So I think some of these speak for themselves, but a, what a lot of people say about this is what I'm getting at, that it is very plumping and hydrating and they like to use it before makeup. It is a very watery texture with a tiny bit of viscosity. If you could see that, I will put some out on my hand here. It is runny, watery. You just saw it kind of drip off my hand. It goes into the skin very quick, but when it dries down, it dries down more matte. Like the glow that you see now is gonna go away as soon as it dries down. And 
it doesn't leave a lot of moisturization to me. Like I would go for something like the Tower 28 SOS or the Phytosurgent C Submerge. Those really pump my skin and keep it hydrated even after. So this, not for me. It's a good price. This is half an ounce, but now it's $14. So if you look at like a traditional serum, you're getting like $28, $29 for a fluid ounce. And I think there are better serums for far less than what you would pay for a full ounce of that. Yeah. Moving into number four on my list. And I'm kind of sad about, we're entering the ones that I'm sad about that didn't work out for me. This is the Beauty Pie Super Active Capsules Pure Double Vitamin C and Vitamin E. Oh, I was so excited to try these. The packaging is a beautiful glass bottle with a plastic lid. It comes with an insert to keep it sealed, which I dropped earlier. And these come in at $18 and you get 60 capsules. So either a month of using day and night or two months of using either morning or night. And the claims on this is that it brightens skin and helps even out skin tone. It has an antioxidant protection with vitamin C and vitamin E acetate for free radical neutralization. It also notes that clinical studies show a significant improvement in skin firmness and smoothness when used daily. It has 100% biodegradable capsules made from red seaweed and it includes 60 capsules and is fragrance free. I am so happy this is fragrance free. Um, you'll see that it's kind of like hit or miss for them. And the first two were not fragrance free. This is. And these little seaweed capsules are so cool and they 1000% do biodegrade. I have tested this on my counter, leaving it in a little bit of liquid. It biodegraded beautifully very quickly as well and I honestly let these biodegrade in my toilet just pop them in there it feels so nice to not have to throw something away and it just dissolves you know and it's from seaweed it's going back to its home but you twist the top off and you squeeze it out and it gives a generous amount like definitely enough to cover your face I have a big face it covers mine even my neck but you'll see this one is not very runny at all and it looks very silicone -y. And that's what I want to get into as far as experience. And then we'll dive into what I think about the vitamin C ingredients themselves. This is super silicone -y. super duper silicone -y. It feels like the unseen sunscreen, if you're familiar with that, but it feels like a silicone primer. And in one way, you know, you could look at that as a plus. I don't really like that texture. And what kind of stinks about it in this texture is this is the last thing that you put on. Yeah, you could probably moisturize over this, but you're going to have to really let this set down and find a moisturizer that's not going to pill on top of this. And then lastly, my skin does not tolerate vitamin C very well. That said, this is a product that I would recommend because when we look at the ingredients, I know that we talked about the ones in their claims, but they call out pure vitamin C at 10% which is powerful antioxidant, protects the skin from environmental damage, improve firmness, even out skin tone, minimize the appearance of lines and wrinkles. There's also vitamin C and micro sponge at 0.5%, which is a slow release of vitamin C. And then there's also vitamin E acetate, which is moisturizing. And they also call out that it has a synergistic effect for antioxidants when it is combined with vitamin C. The list of these ingredients is very short. It has a couple of dimethicones, a cross polymer, couple of um, preservatives, BHT, and then the vitamin C. It uses ascorbic acid right there, right up in the ingredients. I will link an article below that walks through the types of vitamin C that tend to be more stable than others. So the fact that they are using a more stable form of vitamin C and it is packaged in individual packs that are also not see-through, so light's not gonna get through to this and they've tinted the jar, although that's not enough on its own. I do think if you are into vitamin C, this is an incredible value and they have done the research and used the right ingredients in my opinion. It's just not for me and that's why I'm sad, but I would highly recommend this one. Coming in at number three, I'm also a little disappointed in this. It is the Beauty Pie Plantastic Micro Peeling Super Drops with pore refining fruit smoothers and salicylic acid. 
This is a decent size. It is 1.69 fluid ounces for $15, and it comes highly recommended by the lovely Caroline Hirons, and she is everything. Comes in a nice dropper format. It is a very, again, watery solution. And I will go ahead and put some on my hand while we talk about the claims. So it says this is for clearer, healthier looking, refreshed face. It refines pores. There you go, very watery. Helps even out skin tone, softens and smooths, dissolves the top layer of skin, helping to remove impurities. So you'll see it's not quite as dewy as some of the other drops we've looked at. It sinks in very quick. It feels hydrating from a water standpoint, but it's not leaving anything behind that makes me feel super hydrated and can be a touch sticky. So for the ingredient callouts on top of the claims, it says salicylic acid for purifying, banana, kaja, and mango, mango fruit acid for smoothing, kiwi berry stem cells for healthy skin, vitabrite extract for refining pores and reducing the appearance of pigmentation, and antimicrobial biosurfactant to purify, which is a lot. This is fragranced. That is the reason I think it doesn't work for me, along with a couple of other callouts we'll get through and ingredients. This, not so much as the next product we'll talk about, but this reminds me of an old Mary Kay perfume that was green. Velocity, I'll put a picture up. Let me know if that was like popping in middle school when you're in middle school. It smells like that. That one doesn't linger as bad as the next product, but I just, my skin doesn't like fragrance. If your skin doesn't mind fragrance, I would say try these out because they use pretty cool ingredients. So that kiwi fruit extract is great for antioxidants, vitamin C, and it has a lot of polyphenols. So you're getting a lot of antioxidant benefits there. It has woolly thistle, which is pore refining and skin lightening, which is part of that Vitabrite extract that they mention. And then it has Spondius Mombin Pulp Extract, which is a really interesting fruit that is very popular in Brazil, but it is a biosurfectant. And then they also have the Candida Bombicola Glucose Methyl Rapesidate Ferment, which is obtained by fermenting glucose by the Candida, or yeah, by the Rapesidate plant and Candida. And it is a biocide to help keep skin healthy, which is also in that antimicrobial biosurfectant. So pretty cool ingredients, but to me, that doesn't scream micro peeling. Now I love fruit enzymes to exfoliate. My skin loves papaya enzymes, and that's about as far as it goes with exfoliants, uh, chemical wise. So I think this is absolutely worth testing out. If you want a gentler exfoliant, you like those fruit enzymes and you've tried maybe mango or banana and it really gets it well with your skin plus salicylic acid is in there that's great my skin hates salicylic acid too so like this just i had high hopes and i i knew better but i would really recommend this and the price is insane 15 dollars for almost two ounces well one and a half a little over one and a half ounces you're not hopefully using this every night it's gonna last you i love it um, and again, glass bottle with a nice dropper. I like this format much better than one that we'll get into here in a little bit. But for those reasons, I would absolutely recommend that unless you have a version to fragrance or any of those exfoliants we talked about. Coming up on number two. So this is kind of where a line begins for me, where the products that we just talked about, I tested those out for a few months on and off as they would irritate my skin. <laughs> and I have not looked back or touched them since. So now that I've reviewed them, they're going to a new home, hopefully to get used up in the next few months based on their expiration date. I'm not gonna like do anyone dirty, but these last two products I actively use and will continue to use at what pace I will get into individually with each product. So the second one that on the countdown for my list is the Beauty Pie Super Active Capsules Essential Ceramide Plus with Glyco and Sphingo Lipids. Na, 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 na. She's $18. She is similar to the vitamin C capsules that we talked about earlier, but she has 60 just like the vitamin C and also the seaweed capsule that biodegrades. The claims on these guys, there's the little sealer thing that you should absolutely keep. I just dropped mine off the other one. Anyway, the claims are these amazing French formulated concentrated ceramide capsules can take years off your appearance. 
How? By supporting your skin's barrier repair function, increasing moisture retention, smoothing, rehydrating, and minimizing the appearance of aging. These portable individual doses, perfect for travel or in-flight skincare, give skin a silky smooth finish, and with regular use, these anti-aging capsules help maintain healthy, plump, and dewy looking skin by delivering the raw ingredients your complexion needs. Where is that energy for the rest of these products? Like as I was pulling the claims, I was like, dang, we know who your favorite is, Beauty Pie. Anyway, similar capsule, but you'll see this one is clear. So I do appreciate that they went the extra mile with the vitamin C and it is not clear, uh, but this has skin identical sphingolipid complex, which I looked into what a sphingolipid is. It's a group of lipids containing that sphingoid base, which is found in the human body. Um, and we've known about it for a long time. So it is, it's scientifically proven that it's compatible. Um, and they have both structure and biological functions in the human epidermis. So they have been proven out to fit with everything else that lives in the epidermis, but also to push biological functions. So it is going to help kind of rebuild that burial barrier and kind of push your skin to create its own ceramides. I like that there's science behind that. I wish that they would go into more detail because what they tell us about it is, it's to support the skin's natural barrier and boost the production of fatty acids and essential ceramides that are depleted by aging, pollution, sun exposure, exfoliation, and face washing. They're very high level there. And then they also call out essential glycolipids to help replenish endogenous fatty acids and help fight visu visible signs of aging. I didn't look up endogenous. Someone help a girl out. I'll pop it on the screen. Anyway, looking at the ingredients, fragrance. There's not just fragrance listed, but then there's fragrance oils listed like limoline, hydroxycitronello. It's just too much. You'll see. This one is much runnier than the vitamin C. It's also clear. It doesn't look like it's going to be as skin smoothing. This feels incredible. Super duper moisturizing and occlusive. It feels very oily, but it feels like there is a barrier formed over your skin. So for me, these absolutely have to go last in your routine. Nothing is going to penetrate through these. If you want to put something on top of them to lock it in and occlude it, fine, but just know that any ingredients and anything on top of this, there's no way it's breaking through this barrier. But I love these. I use these. However, I cannot use these multiple nights in a row or my skin starts to get irritated from the fragrance. This smells like the Velocity perfume and it's it hangs around. I think because it is so oily, it really carries that perfume for a while and I even feel icky putting that on my face because I I have proven out to myself that fragrance is not my friend in skincare. If fragrance does not bother you and you're looking for something, there's science in this. They're an excellent price point coming in at, I think similar to the vitamin C, $15. $15 and you get 60 capsules. I mean, if you use these once a day that's two months for fifteen dollars i i love this and i do love the individual packaging it is such a great call out for travel i love everything about that i just wish they would take the fragrance out like the vitamin c if they did that i would be using these every single night period lastly on the list and i know the one that a lot of you have been asking me about and i have been waffling on this one because i i'm torn and i'll get to why but this is number one out of all the serums and I'll recap just serums from Beauty Pie in general at some point. But it is the Youth Bomb 360 Concentrate. This comes in at 1.69 fluid ounces for $48. Yes, you heard correctly, $48. Nothing else has even come close to that. I mean, the mist was still almost half of what this costs, which is wild. There are no claims, which is also wild, but they do have ingredient costs and I have a lot to say about ingredients and my overall thoughts on this. However, let's get into it. A beautiful glass bottle and they have kind of upgraded the dropper situation and the overall look. You can tell that they put a little bit more into this, but I honestly wouldn't mind if it was in this packaging because this dropper, you really have to get fingers underneath the lid like this to like push it. It's so hard to push. But this one again is more watery. There's not a lot of viscosity. And I will put some on my arm here. 
you'll see it'll run a little bit slower than the micro peeling drops but still running here we go there you go and this clearly has dye in it which they didn't I don't think they needed to do anyway it goes right into the skin it feels very moisturizing on contact because it is very watery however it dries down and I don't get like an overly moisturized feeling from this I have serums that do quite a bit more for me in that regard however let's get into their ingredient callouts they are calling out a proprietary blend of 15 active ingredients that supercharge your skin's radiance including a powerful phyto extract that provides an emollient moisturizing and soothing effects a synthetic hexapeptide with skin brightening and antioxidant benefits a marine active with high content and proteins and exopolysaccharides reinforces the structural integrity and elasticity of the skin an active marine biotechnology that recharges firms and strengthens the skin and an elastic flexible oat derived molecule for an immediate firming effect that said, let's check out the actual ingredients. I'm not going to go through all 15, but again, if you're interested in my spreadsheet, let me know. There's witch hazel in this, and there's also willow bark extract. Those are the complete opposite of everything else that has been added in here, and I'll get into why. On a paper, I thought this was perfect outside of just those two ingredients. There is no fragrance in this, which I so much appreciate. There is marshmallow root extract, there is horsetail extract, there is devil's root extract, which is a more rare ingredient, and those three are all going to be soothing and anti-inflammatory. They have pseudo alteromonas ferment extract, which is a fermentation of gram-negative extra, extra mophile bacteria. It is a resident of the deep sea, is the bacteria. It's a polysaccharide, and it holds a good amount of water, so it's plumping. It's going to really lock hydration in and kind of plump, visibly plump the skin. It also has Andaria, which Osea uses in their body care line, which I love, and it is um, used to form a unique barrier on the skin to help hydrate it and seal it in essential nutrients. And then they also have Alchemia or Alchemilla vulgaris, which is plant extract that has antioxidant properties, but I do want to call out that that has been called out that it could potentially irritate skin. It also has sea salt. In the hexapeptide really cool ingredients it sounds like it should really pack a punch i have been using this now since i got it in june on and off because there were moments where i had irritation so i would stop you know go back to basics and then try this again here's where i think i'm landing on this if you don't have anything with some of those ingredients in it specific more specifically the hexapeptide some of the c derived skincare absolutely check this out and you don't mind spending $48. However, I get everything that's in this that I want out of this minus the oat extract in the Phytosurgent C Submerge and that one leaves my skin so moisturized that I don't necessarily have to get moisturizer on right away after it. It's also supporting a company that I absolutely love. If you're interested in Phytosurgents, check out some videos on my channel. And I just love that serum so much that this is hard to compete with. I also don't like all of the hype around the anti-aging benefits of this because I don't know that there's science behind these things to truly back that. And it's going to take months and months of use to really see a visible difference. I don't know that I'm invested enough to use it for months and months and months to see a visible difference. I do think it's going to plump. I think it's going to plump and soothe outside of those two astringent ingredients and witch hazel's up there in this. And I don't quite get that, especially even for anti-aging, you're trying to plump the skin. And I feel like that almost counteracts some of the other things. I could be totally wrong. I'm not a formulator, but as far as experience goes, I would go with the photosurgeons over this. But out of all the serums, serums is not where beauty pie shines for me and i think you can tell by this video i wouldn't really recommend any of them with a clear conscious outside of this because it doesn't have fragrance and i don't think it's going to irritate a lot of people if you're not sensitive to fragrance i think the ceramide capsules and the plantastic super peeling drops are great products at a great price and I think if vitamin C doesn't irritate you, this is phenomenal. This is one of the best ones. 
However, for me, none of these are showstoppers enough for me to walk away from my favorite serums that are less expensive or right around the same price. I'm not paying more than like $30 for a serum right now and I have heavy hitters that do a good job. There might be one over $30. But that's kind of where I landed with serums. I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to wrap this up and we're going to jump in next to moisturizers and eye creams. So I hope you'll, I just winked and ended the video. I hope you'll join me for the rest of the Beauty Pie skincare series. Let me know if you have any questions below. Let me know if you've heard of these ingredients and you have more information on it than I am. I love learning about this. I only have so much time to research prior to filming, so I hope that it was helpful enough to show you that Beauty Pie has really cool ingredients. I just wish that they would educate us as consumers more. Until the next video, I will talk to you soon. Bye.